it's Ellie and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be um, interesting, shall we say. <laughs> I like to try new things, you know, like remember when I did my own acrylics? That was fun. Right? So today I'm going to be trying another new thing and I'm going to be attempting to dye slash tattoo my eyebrows at home by myself with a little kit that I bought in Superdrug. This is the Eyelore London Dye Brow and I knew Eyelore, like I knew the brand already because they make um, fake lashes and stuff but this I don't trust. Oh, this was seven pounds forty nine, and that is an okay price if it's good. Because if it's not, then we're gonna have a just sweet issue. I got the shade dark brown because my hair's brown and my eyebrows are brown, and it would be really weird if I got blonde. You get me? Apparently, it takes fifteen minutes to do, lasts six weeks, and you get twelve applications from this kit. We will see about that. Okay, I'm gonna start with the unboxing of this, so let's go. I'm really scared. Okay guys, so now I'm sitting at my little desk and I'm gonna see what I've got to do. So, let's open it up first and see what's in there. I don't really know how you open I'm just gonna rip it open. Okay. Sorry, not sorry. Well, this looks really complicated. I wasn't expecting that. So we've got a little brush, which just looks like kind of like a normal eyebrow brush. We've got Eyelaw London Colour Cream One Dark Brown, and we've got this. What this is what looks scary. Eyelaw Activator. Um. Okay, yeah. And then obviously the little thing it came in. I I'm gonna read the instructions because I'm not trying to die out here. They're not English. Found it! Sensitivity test should have been done three days ago. Whoops! Let's do the steps. Okay, yeah, I'm so confused by this already. So the first step is just cleanse your eyebrows. So I'm just gonna use some like cleansing wipes and just take off my eyebrows, which ma my makeup's gonna look ridiculous with just no eyebrows, but I'm gonna do it anyway. My eyebrows actually went quite well today as well, so this is kind of annoying. This is actually really scary what I'm doing. Not this, not wiping it off. But this is a scary little experiment because if it goes wrong, I'm gonna have dodgy eyebrows for so long. This is how you can tell that my foundation does not match my skin tone at all. I look like a clown. Okay, so I've got the stuff off my eyebrows. The next thing I need to do is, well obviously dry them, but then I have to put like some kind of cream, like a barrier cream, like on my eyelids and stuff so it doesn't dye my eyelids. So I'm gonna probably use some Vaseline and like apply that, but I don't really know how to do it. Vaseline, lovely. So what you do with this is like put Vaseline under your eyes and over your eyebrows, basically all around your like eye area that you're gonna be dyeing. And you basically just do that so the dye doesn't dye your eyes, I think. <laughs> I'm really guessing here, guys, but I'm just gonna like get some Vaseline. This could go horribly wrong. Let's do this eyebrow first. I honestly don't see how this is gonna work. I'm just kind of hoping for the best. Like, I'm terrified though. I think that's okay. The annoying thing is, because this is see-through, what I'm putting on, I can't really tell if I've got it on my eyebrow or not, and if I touch it, I'm just going to smudge it, so... It's a sticky one still. Okay, that's that done. Step two is finito, and the dry. Let's read the next step. Pierce the eye cream colour tube nozzle with the sharp end of the cap, Squeeze two centimetres into the mixing dish and replace lid immediately. So, so you just put two centimetres of it in the middle. So, open it and then squeeze two centimetres. I'm guessing that's like a centimetre. 
Yeah, that's probably two centimeters. Yeah, that's two centimeters, defo. Sure, cool. What's next, you may ask? Well, I'll tell you what's next. Step number four, open activating solution well away from your face. That's concerning. Add five drops to the dish and using applicator, which I think is this, mix well together to form a creamy consistency that does not drip. Oh guys, I'm really scared. This is actually terrifying. This is so much more scary than acrylics. So much more scary. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I just sniffed it. It said well away from your face. Am I stupid? Yes. <gasps> oh crap. That was a lot more than that was a lot more than what it was supposed to be. I'm just gonna pour a bit out. I'm gonna mix it. Even though I'm, it looks like a little turd in a pool of water. Is this some kind of joke? This is horrendous. I think I may be doing it wrong, maybe. Because this is definitely not supposed to look like this. I don't know how you're supposed to mix it, but it, how are you supposed to mix together well with this? It's in like little chunks, it looks disgusting. Okay, actually it's kind of turning into a creamy consistency. No idea what to do now. I think I've mixed it properly, I don't know. Look. Oh, I thought I wiped out my face. Close the first eye and apply the mixture to the eyebrows using the mascara wand. If the cream touches the skin, wipe off immediately with damp cotton wool. I don't have any damp cotton wool. I am so nervous. I'm so nervous. Okay. Is it supposed to do two eyebrows? Because it's not gonna. It literally, it doesn't even tell you how to apply it. It just says apply. Leave the cream on your eyebrow for ten, five to ten minutes, keeping your eye closed throughout. What? You keep your eye closed the whole time? Just one eye though. Okay. So basically what you do is you do one eye at a time, close your eyelid, do it, and then like wipe it off if it gets on your skin and you leave it there for ten minutes. I'm so scared. I need a timer though. I have a 10 minute timer on my phone for when I'm like done, but oh my God, I'm so scared. Which I should do first. I always do this eye first, so I'm gonna do that eye, wait. And close your eyelid. We really doing this. My eyebrows look too thin. And close your eyelid. Ah. Big ah. This is like the most scary thing I've done in my whole life, I'll be honest. Close your eyelid. Oh, I forgot my eye's supposed to be closed. It's open, it's been open the whole time. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter if your eye's open. It's probably just so it doesn't drip in your eyes. I think I finished my first eyebrow, guys. You're supposed to wait 10 minutes and then do the other eye, but I'm just gonna wait 10 minutes. And while I'm waiting to do the other eye, I, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah. This is stupid and I am stupid and I shouldn't have done it this way, but hey-ho, here we go. Ellie is a idiot. Second eyebrow. It's kind of hard because you can't really see where you've applied it because it's light and then it gets darker. Um, but I think I've messed up. Kind of hurts. Is it supposed to hurt because it kind of like a little bit burns? But only a little bit. Like not like, ah, burning, but like a little bit like, oh, it burns. But this eye, not this eye, so it's fine. No, God, please, no, no! Why does it have a hole in my eyebrow? Can you see the hole in my eyebrow? Why? Why is there a hole? Oh God, it's going dark on this eye and there's a little bit that looks so bad. And it's already set. Okay, so it says you do upward strokes with your damp cotton wool to get it off and you do it on both eyes. This whole video was a terrible idea for so many reasons. This eyebrow stings. This one is absolutely fine. This one hurts a little bit and that's concerning because I, what if it falls off? What if all my eyebrow hair falls out? Oh my god, I didn't think about this. Guys, no. it's been 10 minutes since my first eyebrow, which means I've got to take it off and I'm so scared. I'm literally so scared. I've got, okay, I've got a cotton pad that's damp. Oh my god, okay, so you literally just wipe it up. Like, yeah. Okay, well, I mean, there's eyebrow like all over this. I can't really tell 
what has gone. I'm gonna need Oh, now I've got eyebrow dye on my phone case. Like, I think, I think I've got it all off. That's gonna come off. Oh, that actually looks so good. I feel like I have two completely different shapes going on that I've done with the dye, and that's an issue. But, oh, that actually is so, like, like, I'm really happy with that. Because that is like, it's a bit dyed, but it's not too dyed. Like that is tinted compared to my normal eyebrows when I've got no makeup on. If I can find a picture, this is what my eyebrows normally look like. And then obviously that looks a bit better. Okay, I've still got like five minutes to my other eyebrow, but honestly, I'm really happy with that. That went so much better than I thought. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, okay, cool. Let's take it off. <laughs> uh, doing the same as I did before. Wipe it up. Ow. I think maybe I've got like a spot in my eyebrow. You know when you get little tiny spots in your eyebrow? I think I've got one of them and that's why it hurts. Like that's really dark. That's darker than the other one. I think. Only a little bit, but it is darker. To be honest, I think they both went all right. Like, I'm not too mad about that. I'm not too mad. Like, honestly, it could have gone so much worse, and I'm glad it didn't. I think what I'm gonna do is, like, put my foundation back on, but not do my eyebrows, so you get to see what it, like, proper looks like if I just did a normal face of makeup, but no eyebrows. Um, yeah. But I will get right back to you, and I will we'll see the finished, the finished look. All right, so... To summarise, that was scary, intense and difficult. However, I'm not too mad, like my eyebrows, there's not like a crazy difference, but I think they're a bit more like darker. If anything, they're a little bit black, not brown, but I don't think it looks bad. Let me know what you think, but not in the comments below because YouTube will probably turn them off. So let me know what you think on my Instagram or any of my other social medias, which will be linked in the description box below. Honestly though, I'm pretty happy with how the eyebrows turned out, like I'm not mad and I think they look better than what they normally do, like, yeah. Would I recommend this? I would say maybe. If you're like me and you already have fairly dark eyebrows, then I would say yes, but I would not just go for it if you have like blonde eyebrows because you're going to be shocked. But overall, this was quite fun to try and I probably would do it again. So that's good and I'm happy. I would rate my eyebrows and this experience probably like a seven or eight out of 10 because they don't look great, but I think there is a difference and it wasn't like, it wasn't bad. It was quite fun to do, I guess. That is all for now. I really hope you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe to my channel with that big red subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. And I post videos every Sunday and every Wednesday so you can also turn on notifications with the notification bell because you want to be the first to know when I post. Also give this video a great big thumbs up and let's try and get this video to 2,000 thumbs up. So give this video a thumbs up guys, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Also just a little reminder that I'm going to be at VidCon London on Saturday this week. So if you're able to come, I would really appreciate it if you want to come up and say hi to me because I'm going to be at VidCon and I'm like just going to be chilling, wandering around and I would love to meet some people. So. Thank you so much for watching. I think all that's left to say is I love you a lot and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.